Tamarins are inhabitants of tropical rainforests and open forest areas. They are diurnal and arboreal and run and jump quickly through the trees. Tamarins live together in groups of up to 40 members consisting of one or more families. More frequently, though, groups are composed of just three to nine members. Tamarins are omnivores, eating fruits and other plant parts as well as spiders, insects, small vertebrates and bird eggs. Gestation is typically 140 days and births are normally twins. The adult males, subadults, and juveniles in the group assist with caring for the young, bringing them to their mother to nurse. After approximately one month, the young begin to eat solid food, although they aren't fully weaned for another two to three months. They reach full maturity in their second year. Tamarins are almost exclusively polyandrous. Cottontop tamarins breed cooperatively in the wild. Cronin, Curian, and Snowden tested eight cottontop tamarins in a series of cooperative pulling experiments. Two monkeys were put on opposite sides of a transparent apparatus containing food. Only if both monkeys pulled a handle on their side of the apparatus towards themselves at the same time would food drop down for them to obtain. The results showed that tamarins pulled the handles at a lower rate when alone with the apparatus than when in the presence of a partner. Cronin, Curian, and Snowden concluded from this that cottontop tamarins have a good understanding of cooperation. They suggest that cottontop tamarins have developed cooperative behavior as a cognitive adaptation. In some locations, saddleback tamarins live sympatrically with tamarins of the subgenus Sanguinus. But the saddleback tamarins typically occupy lower strata of the forest than do the Sanguinus species. Saddleback tamarins have longer and narrower hands than sanguinous species, possibly adaption to different foraging behavior. As saddleback tamarins are more likely to search for insects that are hidden in knotholes, crevices, bromeliad tanks, and leaf litter. While sanguinous species are more likely to forage for insects that are exposed on surfaces such as leaves or branches, this differentiation in lifestyles was why both were formerly considered. Different genera.